Oh my god. First, I have some news. Development on The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is now complete. Thank you very much for waiting. Many of you are looking forward to this game, and we've released a few trailers so far. I am. Although it'll just be a brief glimpse, I'm going to actually play the game for you all today and show you what it's like. Okay? Let's begin. Here we are in the land of Hyrule. Like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, there's a vast world to explore. Of course, it's not just the same world. Someone in the chat said, please no breakable weapons. I low-key think... I can't believe I'm about to say this. I think maybe some of the weapons should be less breakable. But, like, breakable weapons is fine. I don't know. I've thought a lot about it. I think they should, like, add more durability. And maybe, like, for certain weapons, for certain weapons, add more durability, definitely. Okay, like, really, really goaded weapons and shit. Uh, the UI sucks. I don't think they'll ever fix it. I think that, like, you just have to... You just have to go with that. There's nothing you can do about that as is it's changed in many ways if we talk about all of the changes today we'll run out of time so we hope you'll seek them out for yourself when the game launches in this game the vast world of hyrule reaches high into the sky you'll notice some land masses floating up there we call them sky islands Skypea. you're probably wondering something how do you get to the Sky Islands when they're so high up? If we take a look... Oh, something's falling from the sky. Do you see it? I wonder what that is. Let's head over to it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Head over to it right now. We're almost at the spot where the object fell. Notice that they maxed out his stamina. Okay, Suspicious. let's use one of Link's new abilities. If you do this on the rock that just fell... Look, it started rising. This power is known as Recall, which rewinds an object's movement. Since I just used Recall on the fallen rock, I can now rise into the sky. We're a lot closer to the Sky Islands. Combat Let's is going to be fucking insane, dude. God damn, combat is so... Floating here too. I made it. This is a DLC? Wait, there what do you mean? There are lots of ways to reach the Sky Islands, so we hope you'll try a few different methods. Okay, now we're on a slightly bigger Sky Island. $70, by the way? Okay, dude. First and foremost, stop fucking hating. Fuck you. At a time when absolutely zero fucking big budget developers are actually making fat ass fucking endlessly replayable single player video games, how dare you? How fucking dare you? Y'all are haters. Nintendo makes the worst fucking products sometimes. Look no further than the entirety of the Pokemon series. This is not going to be like that. Okay? That's crazy. That's, have some fucking faith. Oh, my God. That's a, that, that actually is wild. It's like, have the same energy for fucking Elden Ring then. You know what I mean? I know it's fashionable to fucking shit on uh, Nintendo products that are, are... And there's certainly plenty of Nintendo products that you can shit on. Again, look no further than the Pokemon series. Okay? This is not one of those things. Just like on the surface, there are several man-made structures. Some trees are also growing here. You won't see many of those yellow trees on the surface, though. Let's walk around for a bit. Like, you're mad that they perfected certain, certain systems and they just kept it in the game. 
Literally, it's like it's like being upset at the combat mechanics of a From Software game. You know what I mean? Because it's like identical. Yeah, of course. Of course it's fucking identical. Did you beat Breath of the Wild? Yes, one of the best games of all time. Uh, you're, you're like upset. There's a branch on the ground. When you find something like this, you should pick it up. It might come in handy later. Let's continue. Oh, something's there. This is a brand new enemy called a construct. We'll fight it using the branch we just picked up. Ah, the branch broke. Not good, not good. Quick, get another branch and... We defeated it. Moving on. We've now explored more of this Sky Island. As expected, fighting with just a branch won't get us very far. Also, this branch is almost broken. So here's another one of Link's new abilities. If we use this branch and the rock over here and do this, look, we can stick them together. We created a makeshift hammer. This is called Fuse. You can stick objects together to create new weapons with various effects. Let's take on another construct with this fused weapon. Dude, every single thing We're dealing with two of them. At every single thing that they're doing is making me imagine like how many insane clips are going to come out of this with like motherfuckers like pulling a robot arm and like fusing it to some fucking rock to make like Omega Rock robot to just like hang glide while simultaneously dumping an Omega Rock robot and then reversing it in time only to fucking flip it in the air and just start dribbling it like a fucking soccer ball, okay? It's just every single thing that they add, every single minor component that they add to this game is going to dramatically change the way that people play it. Once. Oh, we beat one. The weapon's attack has definitely improved. The other branch broke, but this weapon has much better durability. Dude, how do you not get hyped on this? You I don't do know. You can do all sorts of things by experimenting with the fuse ability. Oh, it's so sick. You can fuse two weapons, for example. If we take this long stick and fuse it with a pitchfork, we can create a weapon with a much longer attack range. With this, we don't have to get too close to enemies, and we can safely attack from a distance. You can also fuse arrows with materials in your inventory. For instance, try fusing this leaf to an arrow. Oh god, the fucking... Fuse an ice elemental material. Oh god, the UI is going to be fucking dog shit again, isn't it? It's just going to be bad. The UI is going to be bad. I don't even want to look at the UI. It, I just... I'm sure that it's going to trigger the fuck out of me. ...to an arrow and... You can freeze far away enemies. Very useful. In addition... Hmm, let's see. Ah, oh, there's a bird flying around. If you're out hunting, you might feel that aiming with an arrow is too difficult. Apparently, my eyes can't track fast-moving objects as of late, so my shots rarely land. So, at times like these, here's an eyeball you can get by defeating monsters. Fuse it to an arrow and... Trackable arrows? Look, it homed in on the target. That's sick. Let's try this on another bird. I'll just fire in that general direction. That's very simple. Depending on what you stick together, the fuse ability could also be beneficial for hunting. I fused a mushroom to my shield. Now, you're probably wondering if this has any use. Well, this mushroom is actually a puff shroom. Let's fight an enemy with this. I blocked with the shield. Okay, there's smoke now. The enemies lost sight of Link, so... Attack! That's sick. Even if you struggle with combat, you can take down enemies using similar methods. 
In the previous game, you'd usually get powerful weapons by defeating strong enemies. But in this game, fusing even the weakest weapon with something else could turn it into a useful weapon. There are even more gameplay options for sticking things together. Let me demonstrate. Some of the Sky Islands even have rivers. We'll want to cross this one, but swimming across it, well, the river's too wide for that. We need a boat. Of course, there isn't anything that resembles a boat around Whoa, here. Whoa, he's going to make a so, boat through fusion? We'll lift up this log and attach it to a second log. Let's do one more. Oh. We'll bring this over here and attach a third log. It's a makeshift raft. This is another new ability called Ultra Hand. <coughs> Even though the logs are currently attached, <coughs> they can be detached. Let's modify the shape of the raft. You can always attach things or detach them like this. Now, if we put this on the water, it's made of wood, so the Dude, buoyancy they're, will keep it afloat. They're going to make so many insane things with this. We've oh made my a simplified God. version of a boat. However, it won't move in its current state, so we'll need something to propel it forward. Hmm. Get a conch. There's something here. Skypea. Let's try hitting it. Oh, wind. It's blowing wind. Wait, Looks like you're using all the power. Fire. You're using all the power. It? Stop using all of its power. You're wasting it. It's a wind dial, guys. We'll attach another one. This should make the boat well balanced. Okay, they're attached. All right, let's try moving the boat. Hey, it's moving. It's sailing pretty fast with the wind from the fans. That's sick. Since we added two fans, we should be able to cross the river in no time. He made it dang. Right. We reached the other side. In the wow. most recent trailer, we showed Big scenes L. of Link riding a Big L didn't take that fucking flower. This guy is not a loot goblin. He's not serious. He's not serious about uh, playing this game. You're supposed to immediately grab every anything and everything you can. That's kind of fucked up, honestly. Like that stand bulb, I would have grabbed it. In the most This looks insane, bro. Tractor farmer simulator? What the fuck is this? Automobile centric high rules, Sag. Okay, chill. There's still horsies recent trailer, we showed scenes of Link riding a large car and a flying machine. Those vehicles oh. actually aren't in the game from the start. Instead, you'll be able to freely craft them on your own. That's stupid. There are all sorts of objects you'll come across in this game. And depending Bro, on Bro, this is literally like, dude, this is like day one, game breaking, fucking immediately go find the main villain shit by making the dumbest contraption you can find as fast as you can. Speedrunners are going to go absolute bananas mode. They're going to have an industrial revolution inside of the fucking video game. Like, holy fuck, dude. Use your imagination. You can do a lot with them. So try crafting different things and explore this world at your leisure. There are even more new abilities. Take this building over here. Okay, watch this. Look, I passed right through the ceiling. This new ability is called Ascend. If you're in a place with a ceiling, you can go through to the floor above you. There are some restrictions, but what's great about this ability is that as long as there's a ceiling, you can use it anywhere. For example, this place has a cave with a hill right above it. If we use the ability here, come on, keep going. Okay, we emerged at the top of the hill. 
It's cold. In the previous game, you had to use stamina. Put a different fit on. Let me see the fucking winter fit, dude. Come on. I'm a mountain. But in this game, if there's a mountain with a cave like this one, you can now get to the top without having to climb all the way up. Here's another example. That's Imagine pretty far. you're stuck in a cage. If it's got a ceiling, you know what to do, right? Exactly. Oh, there's another construct. It seems to be holding a strange weapon. <laughs> Is it the added clipping? <laughs> Some enemies are equipped with fused weapons, so battles will play out a bit differently from the previous game. Ah, it blew me away with wind. Looks like it's got some sort of thing. They didn't take the shroom. L, again. Like, what are you doing? What do you do? Think. Think. What can you craft with that shroom? I'm getting triggered. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Grab the fucking mushroom, dog. What the hell? Man. Ah, I got pushed off. Oh, well, let's just return to the surface. You can quickly descend from the sky to the surface like this. It feels so good. In the sky, you... That, dude, dude, that map is... Oh, dude, there are going to be so many sick fucking universes... You'll be able to look out across the land. You can also search for destinations that pique your interest. Once you've chosen your destination, you can speed things up, like this. Let's dive into this river. And we're back on the surface. There are still so many things I'd like to show you, but let's leave it at that for now. No, let's not. No, 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 let's keep showing. Let's let's keep showing. What did Stop! You think? Oh, dude. Some of Link's new abilities were updated from the previous game. I'm like sure what? some of you watching me play were thinking, "Wait, if you could do that, then maybe you could do this too." In this game, you can do a lot of things just by thinking about what's even possible. There's still a lot of new gameplay, mysteries, and encounters we couldn't show today, but they're all jam-packed into this unfamiliar Hyrule, and we hope you'll use your imagination to explore it. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Tears of the Kingdom are tears coming out of my fucking eyes, dude. This game is going to be incredible. Oh, God, I got chills. Rice is going to be so fucking good. Keep playing. Hope it runs better than Pokemon. How dare you? Oh, God, this is so fucking Nintendo. Oh, my God. They're going to sell a special edition. Oh, I'm going to buy it. Oh, I'm going to buy it. I'm... Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, that looks sick. Who the fuck buys these? Me. God, they're so fucking such pieces of shit.